welcome to Edinburgh Essentials, where we bring you the biggest headlines from around campus. I'm Sabrina Boots. And I'm Jay Zemanek. And let's get on with this week's headlines. Students were anxiously waiting for, the, for who will be hosting this year's spring concert. A reveal party was held Thursday consisting of a Mario Kart tournament, free snacks, giveaways, and much more. The artist was revealed to be the Neon Trees, and the concert will be held on Saturday, April 13th at Macomb Fieldhouse. Tickets are currently on sale for $10 this week and will increase to $15 next week. Award-winning author and flutist Gemma Stemley performed at the Van Houten Dining Hall. She is a public figure helping to represent Penn West Women's History Month celebration. Born and raised in Trinidad and Tobago, Stemley played a style of Caribbean music called Calypso. Other genres of music included bossa nova, the music of Brazil, and the infectious rhythms of Jamaican reggae, mento, and dance hall. The performance was sponsored by the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Legendary Disney director and animator John Musker visited Edinburgh over the weekend to give a lecture and screening of his most recent short film, I'm Hip. Musker had a Q&A session for Curious Feature animators and filmmakers after both the lecture and the screening. There was also an opportunity for anyone to get a signature and a picture with Musker after the screening was over. This past weekend, Brothers of Lambda Chi Alpha hosted their Fulcrum for Food fundraiser. Remember, stand or our seesaw on the corner of East Normal and Meadville Street, collecting monetary and food donations for Edinburgh's food pantry. They successfully raised thousands of dollars to give, and last year, Lambda Chi Alpha collected over $8,000 in donations and started this year off strong with over $5,000 from the weekend. I am Jacob Sikanko. I am the High Theta, the Philanthropy Coordinator for Lambda Chi Alpha. And I'm here today with the Fulcrum event that we do every semester. We raise money for the food pantry for three days straight. We collect donations and canned goods. And it's a, it's a really great time. So far, it's been good. We've collected over $2,000 already in the first day. Um, we're expecting a lot more in the next two coming up. It's St. Patty's weekend, so we're hoping everyone can give their share of good luck and spread a good bit of green. Um, this goes to the Edinburgh Food Pantry. It all goes there. We'd like to help out and make a difference where we can. On Sunday, emotional support dogs visited the Pogue Student Center to help lift the spirits of students who are stressed or depressed. Sign in at the tables near the back of the first floor and spend some time with therapy dogs of all sizes and breeds. The pups will return to Pogue on April 7th at 3 p.m. On Friday, the University Programming Board celebrated St. Patrick's Day in the Pogue Student Center. Students joined them in the lobby for some refreshing St. Patrick's Day mint milkshakes. Now let's check in with our sportscaster, Richie Armagos, for our weekly sports update. Thanks, Sabrina. On Wednesday, the women's lacrosse team traveled to Lake Erie College. The Lady Scots dropped a hard-fought game, losing 11-10 against the Storm. The Scots will be back in action on the field on Wednesday when they travel to Seton Hill for their PSAC West opener. The wheelchair basketball team traveled to Minnesota for the NWBA College Nationals last Thursday. In the opener, the Scots held a 32-25 lead and held the lead in the second half for their first ever victory against Cooney. Isaiah Johnson led the scoreboard with 20 points and 11 rebounds, with Moore leading second with 17 points, helping the Scots to win 67-47. However, the Scots lost to the University of Arizona, 82-25. Upcoming, the softball team will be go going up against Gannon on Tuesday, Pitt Johnstown on Friday, and they'll be traveling to Clarion on Saturday. The men's and women's tennis teams will travel to Erie to go up against Millersville on Saturday. And this weekend, the ultimate Frisbee team will be traveling to Vinland, New Jersey, for the Garden State Tournament. That's all for this week. For more details and updates for sports, go to GoFightingScots.com. Now let's throw it to Aaron Cronin for this week's weather. Thanks, Sabrina. Let's look at this week's weather rundown. It's going to be a 
little bit uh, of on the chillier side, I'm afraid, even though that Tuesday here, that's actually going to be our spring, first day of spring. We got our high of 37, our low of 31, got the clouds coming all th throughout the week till Saturday, in fact. 35 high, 23 low on Wednesday. Uh, that winter mix is coming back despite the spring news. Uh, on 20, uh, Thursday, we have a 27 high, 17 low, partially cloudy, but Friday, it's back to that partially uh, snowy, rainy mix. We have the winter mix. 34 high, 26 low. On Saturday, we have 35 high, 23 low, and we got sun rounding out the weekend with a 42 and a 35. That's all for this week, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. That's all for this week. Catch us every week for the latest in borough news, and we will see you next week on another episode of Edinburgh Essentials.